hi and welcome back to another video today's video is going to be game of thrones inspired hairstyles some of these hairstyles are going to be an almost exact replica as the ones i have seen on the show while others are going to be more toned down to an everyday use because hairstyles like these are not the ones you have time to do in the morning anyway i hope you will enjoy this tutorial and let's get started First we are going to detangle our hair, brush it all the way through. Then section a part of your top head and make a little ponytail. I'm using a clear and elastic. You can even take a small part of your hair and wrap it around to hide the elastic. Secure the section using a bobby pin. Then on the side of your head, just above your ear, take a section and divide it into two. Then twist this section each and wrap them around each other. You're not going to make an exact rope, but you can do that if you want to. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm just clipping it on the back of my head so it doesn't untangle while I do the exact same steps on the other side of my head. Then I'm taking the two twists and securing them with each other using a clear elastic. You can even pull on the twists to make them look a little fuller or messier. And then this hairstyle is complete. For this next hairstyle you want to have a middle part. Then take a little section at the front of your head. Divide that section into two equal pieces. Then you're going to twist the bottom section over the top section. You only want to add hair to the bottom section before crossing it over the top section. Add hair to the bottom section. Then cross it over. Repeat these steps until you reach the back of your head. You want to keep the twist as close to your part as possible. Then continue the twist down to the end of your hair. Then I'm just bobby pinging it away while I do the exact same steps on the other side of my head. Then you're going to take the two parts and twist them together. Secure with an elastic. Then you're just going to make a normal three-stranded braid down one of your shoulders.
securing it with a clear elastic and making the braid appear a little fuller by pulling in it. You want to make sure that the elastic from the twist are hidden inside your braid so you can see it. And then this hairstyle is complete. For this next hairstyle you want to have a middle part and you want to continue that middle part all the way down to your neck. Dividing your hair into two equal sections. Then we're just clipping one of the sections aside. Then take the other section and cross it over to the opposite side of your head. Divide it into two equal sections and make a rope braid. When making a rope braid you want to twist each section the same side and then crossing it over to the opposite side. So here I'm twisting them away from my head, crossing them over towards my head. Twisting them away from my head and twisting the sections towards my head. Secure the ends with a clear elastic. Then we're going to take the other section and put it across our head to the opposite side. And this gave me a little trouble so I'm using a bobby pin to secure the first section on the back of my head as it was moving when I was about to work on the second section. That really helped me to make the second rope braid. And my bangs were too short to get into the rope braid, so I'm just going to bobby pin them at the back of my head. And then this hairstyle is complete. For this next hairstyle it doesn't matter where your part is. But you want to take a section from the front and divide it into three equal parts. Then we are going to make a dot braid. When making a dot braid you want to cross the sections under. Then add hair and braid all the way down to the back of your head. Try to keep the braid as close to your part as possible and don't take too big section from the bottom of your braid as we're going to make another braid down there and you want to have the hair to add to that braid. Then I'm just using a bobby pin at the end because we're going to braid that section into another braid later. And that braid I'm making right now. This braid is also a Dutch braid. And I ended up braiding it, braiding it all the way down, but it was an unnecessary step. But at that moment I wasn't sure how I want the hairstyle to look at the back. But we are going to braid the two braids together. I'm sorry that you can't see 
it that clear, but I will try to tell you what to do. You want to unbraid the braids you've done. Then take two sections from one braid and add together. That is your first section of the new braid. Then detangle the other braid and again take two of those sections and add into one that is your second section of the new braid. Then the two single sections you want to divide into the third section of your new braid. Then you have three new strands to make a regular three stranded braid. That braid you want to braid all the way down and secure with a clear elastic. Then we are going to do the exact same things, just below the first braids. So again, making a dot braid. I'm braiding the braids as far back as I can reach. Securing the braid with a bobby pin until we're going to braid it together with the braid that I'm working right now. Here you will be able to see a bit clearer how to braid the two braids together. Here you can see that I have one section that I'm putting together with the single section of the other braid. And then I have two sections in my left hand and a double section in my right hand. And then the two single sections are smooshed together into the third strand of the three-stranded braid. Then just braid it all the way down and secure with a clear elastic. And now this hairstyle is complete. This was all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you want to see more videos like this and leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. The button is down there and it's free. Anyways, I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye. I want to do something funny for the outro, but I can't find something funny to do.